What is up guys, got to pull here, doing another, I guess, quick basic tutorial on how I record, because somebody asked me how I record and when I use record, so I figured I'd just post this, and that way anybody who wants to record the way I do, or wants to know, like, a free way to record, you don't have to pay or anything for this, to do it, honestly. So, I use OBS, which, to download it, you go to obsproject.com slash download, and I don't use the, uh, I don't use OBS Studio, I use OBS Classic, so ignore this part if you want to have the exact same UI and everything that I have, and scroll down to Classic, download the installer, and install it and everything. Once it's installed, you'll have something that looks like this, and this, you can just see the paradox of me recording the OBS that's recording right now. So, but this is what the basic things will look like. What you're going to do is you're going to go up to a profile, I can't click on it now, click on, um, and click create a profile and whatnot, and then go to settings, and for your general settings, you're just gonna, you know, just choose the profile you want, choose the language, all that. And then for your encoding tab, you're gonna want to go to, like, I use personally, because I have an NVIDIA graphics card and I feel like it's easier on my PC, even though I have a good PC, I use the NVIDIA, NVIDIA NVEC encoder. You can use um, X264, and I'll show you the settings for that in a minute. But for my um, NVIDIA NVEC, Coder. I use UCBR and enable CBR padding, which is constant bitrate. And my bitrate I set to 25,000 just because with the um, NVIDIA NVEC, it's not the greatest quality unless you have a high bitrate set for it when it's recording. So, and it's not like hard on your PC if you have a decent graphics card. Like I used to use these um, settings when I had a 750 Ti, which I don't have anymore. I have a better graphics card now, but even with the 750 Ti, I was able to manage, you know, to use these settings to get good quality. For the audio encoding, I use AAC with 48 um, kilohertz, and bitrate is 96 with stereo channel. Not like your bitrate's not really gonna matter all that much with this. For obviously, use stereo because you don't want your thing coming out of one speaker. And that's the basics for uh, NVEC. Now, if you're gonna use X264 because say you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card or something basic like that, and you have like an AMD graphics card. You're gonna still want to use your constant bitrate, but I would say set this anywhere from 4,000 to 7,500 because this encoder is not the easiest on your PC. It's not using your GPU; it's more using like your processor and stuff. So obviously, you're gonna want the bitrate. This is harder on your computer, so the bit and it's higher quality. That's why you don't need 25,000 bitrate too. But 3,500 to like 7,500 is any. Go, kind of mess around with it in between there, see what's good for your PC and not like killing your computer and stuff. I just personally prefer the NVIDIA one because my graphics card is really good and it kind of just handles it really well. For you, uh, for your broadcast settings, you want to go, it will start on live stream, you want to set it to file output only, and then for your file path, choose where you want to set it to go and record and everything. Um, make sure you add .mp4 at the end of it that actually matters quite a bit is definitely set mp4 at the end of it or you can it can be really annoying to have the files and try to find them and sometimes they're not even in mp4s for your video obviously there's my graphics card choose your graphics card whichever one you have your base resolution set that now this is a big thing that helps people out for your fps you can set it to 30 or 60 if you can't handle 60 fps try 30 but the main thing that helps people helps out or helped out my old PC is I set this to 1.5 because it's that's changing it from instead of recording in 1080p you're recording in 720p which it yeah obviously you want 1080p to have the best possible quality but 720p is not bad and set it to um Lanxos, I think that's how you say it best cool um best detail the 36 sample and leave it on 60 fps and try recording that way that helps quite a bit whenever I used to record on my old PC. You can also set it to 30 FPS if it's still too much. I think you, if you can't record on 30 FPS with this, you probably don't have a PC that's really good for recording or should be recording, honestly. But yeah, I don't normally use that because graphics card can handle that. Um, for your mic, for your desktop audio, obviously, whatever you use for your speakers, for your microphone, whatever you want to use as a microphone. I don't have any push delay or anything like that, push talk, so that doesn't really matter for me. Just, yeah, if you need to set this up, I don't see why you would for recording, it's stuff that really doesn't affect much. Don't, but 
if you want to try messing around with this, like your desktop boost or your mic yeah, um, or auxiliary boost, go for it. I personally wouldn't, but that's just me. Now, for hotkeys, like I said, I have nothing. You can set hotkeys to do whatever you want. Say change theme, stop streaming, stop recording, all that stuff. I don't see a need to because I have two monitors, so you can put the, um... If you have two monitors, you can just put the recorder on the other monitor and just click stop whenever you want to stop and continue whenever you want to continue. Now, for your advanced settings, these are settings that I went around and found that people use. The CFR, or C, yeah, CRF right here, this you don't have to put unless you're using the X264. This is for people who use the X264 format. It helps them have a... I don't remember what the actual term is for it, but it just helps the quality of your video stay decent. It's like a quality control. Alright, and then obviously I... um for If you do long videos like me, like your videos can be anywhere from like 20 to 50 minutes, maybe even an hour, you check UCFR because that's to use constant frame rate. And if you don't, and like programs like Adobe Premiere and stuff that I use to render, it uh it will desync after a while because your video is in a variable frame rate, so the frames actually desync even though they're you it recorded in 60 FPS unless you have CFR on. That's what I do for my uh all right, but for this. Anyways, I'm I'm getting lost here. But uh, in your general tab, use multi-thread optimizations. Yes, my uh my priority class I put to above normal. I, or, yeah, above normal, I wouldn't put it anything else than that. Maybe normal. I don't think high is needed, but I I just leave it on above normal. The allow other modifiers, hotkeys, stuff, that doesn't matter. Doesn't at all, because I don't use hotkeys. For my video, I use NVEC um, preset on high quality. You can set it to high performance if you want to spare some, or if you want to lose a bit of quality, but, you know, just want to lose some stuff. You You can mess around with these. I just use high quality. For my encoding profile, I use high. I would always suggest using high because there's no reason to really use main. And that's pretty much it on the advanced page, and anything else here has nothing to do with it. So th those are just the basic recording settings. And then now I'm going to show you what you can do here. So let's say you want to open up League. Um, let me log into the client really quick. You can hear that. But, uh, yeah. Let's say you wanted to log into... Um, League. Or record League. You would go to click here, click add, click window capture, and then click OK, and then find what your thing is called. This would be PvP client, dot, or PvP.net client. Click OK, and there you go. That pops up right here, and you can uh, move it around if you go to, or yeah, the window capture, position, size, you know, fit screen, does that. You could also, just, yeah basic stuff. Now I'm going to remove this though. When you're, if you want to record in-game, you would have to start a game, custom AI, classic, blah blah blah, or no, custom, darn that, god damn it, <laughs> create game, create, come on, come on, press space if that ever happens, if you get the infinite little loading screen. Click whatever you want, just be on Happy Ecstasy Peace. Every passing has Why did I have to choose Carthas? Now you have to hear his long speech. Alright, now the loading screen should be popping up in a, in a second. There it is. Alright, now that you see the loading screen and stuff, to record the actual in-game stuff, you're going to want to go to Window Capture, Capture, and it's going to be called League of Legends Trademark Client. It's not going to be the PvP.net, that won't record in-game. That will only record the actual out-of-game client. If you click League of Legends Trademark Client, click on that, well, now it's kind of a black screen for me because I'm pretty much already recording, but you would do that. And if that doesn't work, you can go with Monitor Capture. You can also go with um, Game Capture down here, although I never really use Game Capture, but just click on Game Capture. Game Capture also works very well. Yeah, that those are just the basics of how you record. But um, now I'm going to cut over to Shadowplay and show people how to use Shadowplay if they can't use OBS, because it, Shadowplay is a bit 
easier, but you have to have an NVIDIA for this, definitely. There's no X264 like benefit or anything like that, as far as I know. So, yeah, now we're gonna delete this. Yes, I wanna delete so I can see. Alright. Um, exit game, leave game. Alright, now to use Shadow Play, you gotta get NVIDIA GeForce Experience. As you can see, GeForce Experience is right here. I'm just gonna drag this over to the side really quick. But GeForce Experience, once you log in, make your account, all that stuff, you click on Share Your Greatest Experience. Go to here's the recording. You can click on Settings right here. Blah blah. blah connect keyboard recording. That's all. The, that's how you get some of those settings. Done. Now, when you click Recording, click Customize. You can click quality here if you think you can like change quality because custom. You can choose frame rate between 60 and 30. In game resolution, you can do 4K, 1440p, 1080p, all that stuff. You can go to choose the bit rate here, and then once you just do that, all you have to do is find out find out what you had your recording settings to, or whatever you set your hotkey to, and click record. And that's pretty much the basics of this. It it's not really like hard or anything. It's just I don't prefer using it because I don't think the quality is as high as some other things, but it's not bad quality at all. But those are the basics. It's just how I record videos. If you want me to make another video, like, that, this was a 12-minute video, even though I wanted it to be quick. If you want a basic, like, video on how I record things and stuff like that, or how I render my videos, I mean, not record, let me know and I'll do one of those. But, yeah, this is just the basics of how I record. It's That's the quality I use and everything. That's all I do. But, yeah, thank you for watching. If you want a follow-up video for render settings, let me know. I use Adobe Premiere. I will show you some basic stuff in there, too, if you want to see that.